In Washington, D.C., a wave of opposition. Trump is stealing the election! Trump is out now! A march with a message for the president. Get the hell out of the White House. Get out of town. You're not welcome here. He should stand down. He should, wa he should watch his back because everybody's coming for him. The resentment isn't new. A day after Donald Trump's inauguration in 2017, record numbers gathered across the U.S. to voice their anger. Today, they rallied once more. For them, four more years isn't an option. We are going to vote into power an administration that we can hold accountable, that will listen to us, and that will actually listen to the agenda of the American people. What would Donald Trump need to say or do to change your mind? Nothing. He is somebody of questionable values and ethics. He has had ample opportunity over the last three and a half years to show us the type of person he is. We've seen it, we have paid attention, and we, we have said we've had enough of him. Current polls still show Joe Biden ahead, and it's suburban women that could be a major obstacle to Trump re-entering the White House. Suburban women, will you please like me? In Pennsylvania this week, the president tried to get women on side. I saved your damn neighborhood, OK? But his nomination of Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court has left many fearing abortion rights are under threat. Today, anger bubbled over as pro and anti faced off. He's the most pro-life president we've ever had, so I am in support of it. Um, and I am in support of his policies. For both sides, the time for action is running out. It's votes, not loud voices, which will decide America's future. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Washington.